hello guys welcome back um, it's been a while now today I'm going to show you how to make um, sweet and sour chicken uh, with some pineapple right in here I've got two uh, large cloves of garlic crushed and uh, medium-sized onion and um, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper and um, one and a half teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and just about uh, a teaspoon of uh, mixed spice here I've got um, just about a teaspoon of crushed chili dried chili and um, here I've got um, hot chili powder whereas I'm not going to use too much I'm just because I need to have for this and chicken to have like um, have a nice color okay right here I've got three large chicken breasts large size chicken breast which I have um, cut in cubes bite size cubes like that show you that size bite size is this is called bite size um, we don't want them too thick because we don't want it um, we want it to want it for it to cook quickly so we don't want it too chunky okay because we um, have to be careful as well because of uh, raw meat, raw meat, especially chick with chicken you can get salmonella which is food poisoning and which can be fatal, okay? So I'm going to do you nice um, sweet and sour chicken today and um, like I put the, all the spice in there now, I just rub it in so it mix in thoroughly, okay? Right. Look at that, see it's coming together there, all the spices are blended in. What the, um, the the chili powder does, when you fry the chicken, it gives it a nice color. Right, now I'm going to um, leave this to marinate for a, for a while. I'm just cooking my Sunday dinner, you know, because I haven't been off from work for I haven't had a weekend off work for a while now I've been busy working and thankfully I'm still here because um, a member of staff was diagnosed with uh, COVID-19 and however you know, nobody has contracted it you know we were all practicing uh, safety at work wearing our mask and sanitizing so and she herself didn't do too bad because she didn't have really have any bad symptoms or any symptoms at all she just lost her taste and um, and smell that's it you know but and um we were all doing our covid test um test every week you know sent off to the lab and we get our results back within a day or so so um you know with nobody panic or anything like i'm just get on with work as usual she was off for some time and she's back at work now so right this is my chicken and it's gonna be resting for some for some time I might leave, just leave it to to marinate for baby about an hour because time is going and I really don't like um, being in my kitchen for too late I'm going to be doing this um, sweet and sour chicken bites also I'm making uh, chicken chop suey today yeah chicken chop suey and um, sweet and sour chicken so all chicken and uh, also I'm doing some barbecue um, lamb chops right okay so I'm just gonna put you on hold for now all right and then I'll get back to you okay guys here's my sweet and sour chicken process going on now the chicken that I've marinated before, um, I have whisked one egg, 
And then I've added it to these um, diced chicken bits that I've marinated, see? Right, and what I've done, I've just rubbed in all that egg that I've whisked in here. And what I've done now is take them out individually and coat them into some self-rising flour. All right? So, um, and here's some that I've already coated, which I'm about to fry in a bit. So I'm gonna also put you on hold again, um, and then I'll show you the next part of the dish, okay? Here I've got um, all my chicken bits all coated in self-rising flour. Don't forget to cut your chicken in bite sizes, not too chunky and um, season with some all-purpose seasoning and um, black pepper some garlic some onions you want your chicken to be tasty and um, whatever seasoning you've got just use it because i've used this is one of you so all-purpose seasoning good for everything really and um, okay i'm going to put you on hold again and um, just carry out my frying process Okay. okay guys here I'm showing you um, the oil is hot and I've put my coated chicken in to fry and I'm gonna leave them to fry for some time and um, just ensure that um, they fry and they cook through thoroughly I'm also gonna put the lid on when they fry on both sides and start to get golden brown I'm gonna put the lid on so my chicken on the inside will be thoroughly cooked, okay? Right, and I'm going to put you on hold again and um, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, here's my chicken going. Okay. Just like you do ordinary fried chicken, but I'm going to show you how to do the, the sweet and sour bit in a, in a minute or so. Okay? Put this lid on for it, the chicken to cook through thoroughly. Okay guys, now I've finished frying my chicken. Chicken part, bits or what you call it. Um, here they are over here. My chicken bites. And here I've poured a generous amount of um, orange juice for the sweet and sour sauce and um, there is simmering with some um, some sugar so what you're gonna do you're gonna add some sugar to taste some people don't like too much sweetness but it's all down to yourself you know you're gonna also cut some peppers like um, bell, bell peppers or you call them sweet pepper in cubes that size cubes with different colors because you want your dish to be colorful also the orange juice normally I would use I would use um, brown sugar I didn't have any brown sugar in my cupboard so I use um, the granulated sugar but what I did add some um, some tomato sauce to it to give it that um, color now I'm going to add these are some um, pop choy cut cutting cubes as well see and I've cut the peppers just the same size as well so you got different color peppers and you got your pop choy there so you're just gonna add that to your orange juice and um, let them simmer for a little not too much because pop choy cooks easily and we don't want uh, this stuff to be too soft okay and over here I've got um, some pineapple um, chunks of pineapple ready here I've mixed two tablespoons of cornstarch which is gonna thicken this is gonna thicken my um, sweet and sour sauce because we don't want it to be too runny all right there I'm just gonna put you on hold for a bit and this is what my sweet and sour sauce looks like 
after I've added my um, cornstarch uh, this is like two tablespoons full of cornstarch and mix it into some orange juice and then add it to um, the orange juice that was simmering with the sugar and then you got that sweet and sour taste all right and then what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna add my chicken bites into that and then quickly take them out and put and put them in a, in a container or a bowl or whatever okay I'm gonna put it on hold now and here we are that's my sweet and sour chicken isn't it looking really good look yep really nice and it does have that sweet and sour taste to it right so I'm going to be have a look a sweet and sour chicken chicken bites actually I'm going to serve it up in this dish here and have it um, put aside because um, it's my Sunday dinner today. Okay, there it is. Right, I'm gonna put you on hold again because I'm gonna be doing chicken chop suey in a bit. So, and I'm running a bit late with my dinner today. So, here I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be speeding today. Right. So, there you go. Another look, sweet and sour chicken. That's my sweet and sour dish there, guys. All done now. Very tasty and nice. So I'm gonna go on to my next dish, which is chicken chop suey. Making ch chicken chop suey now. Okay, then, bye. See ya. Anything you don't understand, please feel free to send me a private message on Instagram or even on my YouTube channel ask me any question whatever you don't understand feel free to to ask and I will let you know find me on Instagram as share s h e r underscore Morse as in inspector Morse m o r s e okay please feel to try my sweet and sour dish. this is my version of sweet and sour dish to be honest with you so let me know if you have a go at it and um, see how you get on. Okay then, bye.